Okay, here is how to add a bus route layer to a regular roads layer and be able to tell them apart after the fact. So what I have here is, in gray, a raster that I converted from a shape file of the roads of Connecticut, the major roads. And then in shades of red, I have just the highways. So we need to reclassify these. Let's go to Spatial Analyst, Reclass, Reclassify. And let's reclassify the highways. And because I don't feel like typing values in here, I'm going to reclassify it so that it only has one category. I'm even going to move that up a little bit to make sure that the top line gets included in that one category. And I'm going to set all of the highway values to a big number and all the no data values to zero. So now everything that's red will be 100 and everything that's blank will have a value of zero. Let's reclassify that. Okay, so this is the highways. I'm going to rename it Reclass Highway. That would be like your bus routes. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the regular roads. I'm going to reclassify the roads. I'm going to put them all in one category. Just to, this is just to make it easier. Move that up a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to give all the roads with values a 1 and all the places where there are no roads a 0. Okay, there's that layer. So this is the reclass of the roads. Rename that. Okay. Now I'm going to use raster calculator to add those. Map algebra, raster calculator. I'm going to add the roads, which have a value of 1, plus the highway, which has a value of 100. And I'm going to get a new raster. Turn everything else off here. In this raster, the black areas are zero. The red roads are one. And the green roads have a value of 101. So if I wanted to turn this into a friction layer for cost distance, when I reclassify it, and it's called raster calc here, I get those choices, 0, 1, and 101. Now if you were doing this and you wanted to put friction values on it, your theory is that the bus routes are the easiest to pass, so they have no friction. The roads are medium easy to pass, and the areas that aren't on the roads are you know, somehow harder to pass. So this would be your cost friction layer. I'm going to rename it friction so we know. Okay. And then if I put, I don't know, I must have a point shape file I can use to show you. Um, let me just find some points. See what this is. Look at those markers. Well, I guess they're not on there. Oh, not on there. Okay. Let's find some more Connecticut points. Oh, here, let's do federal open space. All right, so those little blobs, let's change their color so you can really see them. These little light blue blobs are kind of a good open space. So let's just calculate.
class distance on this friction layer to open space. So we go to distance, class distance. We want to know distance from open space along the friction grid that we called friction. And just let that happen. And we even bother with the extents. And this is your layer. You can display the show you how to display the roads. You can get rid of one of the colors. And move this up here. And now we can see the roads. I don't like those colors. The roads, let's make them black. And gray. And that one like a darker gray. There, and now you can see your distance from an open space parcel along the roads and highways of Connecticut.